Okay, we are back, and you know, this is almost like the perfect combination of foods, really. You got your beautiful salad you just make, made, and then Ryan's going to make some soup. And soup and salad is a great dinner. Absolutely. I love it. Especially when uh, soup is as easy to make as this. All right. Let's, um, what is it? I mean, look at the beautiful color. Yeah, so, you know, we've, we've cooked some of this ahead because, uh, as we've done on previous programs, uh, we roasted vegetables. It's passive cooking, and, you know, you can't really show that on, uh, on TV, so... Uh, we'll it's good, but it's so... It yeah, might put people to sleep. We don't yeah, want to exactly. do that. Yeah, exactly. You'd be watching a lot of commercials and things <laughs> no, like that. So. Right, right. Uh, and besides, with that, I mean, yes, you have to do that. But you can do that, you know, you're watching TV or you're, you're paying your bills or whatever. It's just in the oven. It's not like you have to do anything during that time You period. have to watch it a little bit. Yeah, but you can sit there and watch it. I mean, you can do other things. I'm just saying it's not like you've got to really work hard at doing that. Right. So the, the basis of our roasted vegetables this time, uh, this is sort of an Italian uh, Christmas soup called uh, Zuppa de Carota e Zucca, oh. uh, which is basically carrot and squash, or carrot and pumpkin. In this case, we're going to be using uh, the butternut squash uh, again. So uh, just cut your butternut squash in half, peel it, uh, dice the, the squash into like half-inch cubes. Okay. Uh, put those in a bowl along with uh, your, you know, like a, an eighth-inch slice on your carrots after you've cleaned and, and washed those. Uh, put them in a bowl with uh, some olive oil, a little salt and pepper on top of it. Lay them on a, a baking tray like you see here with mm -hmm. some parchment paper underneath it. And put them in an oven at uh, between 425 and 450. Very hot. Very hot. And roast them for about, uh, takes about an hour. Okay. And look every 15 or 20 minutes, stir them, get them turned over. And then once you start getting some caramelization and, and color on the, on the edges, uh, and more is going to give you a little bit more flavor, so you know to your liking. But at least so that they're they're softened and cooked mm -hmm. and starting to, to brown a little bit. Okay. One thing I might add, Ryan, is that we um, and anyone can do this. You can add a spice profile to it, and we added some um, thyme twigs oh. uh, that actually roasted with the vegetables okay. during this process. So uh, you got to make sure you move the twigs when you're done. But if you uh, use fresh thyme, yeah, yes. it comes yeah. on the long okay. twigs. So, so yeah, remove those. You could also use dry thyme. Okay. Um, likewise, you know, you could put that on after it cooks, but, uh, you know, we, we roasted it with it. At the, nice at to point. infuse that flavor in there as it's sure. roasting. Yeah. Uh, next we had uh, a large, one very large onion uh, mm -hmm. into, you know, quarter slices. Um, again, same process with the olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and three cloves of garlic that were just mildly uh, chopped together. Uh, put them on another roasting tray. These cooked uh, considerably faster than the squash, so, you know, again, check every 15 or 20 minutes, but these really only take about 30 or 40. Okay. Depending upon how moist the onion Pay is. Pay attention. Exactly. So there's the salt and pepper that we used on that. We might use a little bit after we taste the soup. Okay. Uh, we're going to garnish with a little chiffonade of basil. Um, this is more basil. And uh, then the, uh, instead of a crouton, we are going to be using uh, some delicious pancetta bacon. Oh. Uh, which is doesn't have as much smoky flavor uh -huh. as American bacon, um, but it just cooks up in a pan. Uh, don't overcook it, and then just dice it up. So this is kind of what it looks like after it's cooked, and then we just you chopped know, it up sort a little bit. That up, nice. And we'll so be sprinkling a little bit of decadence. Yeah, there you just go. Just to top the soup. Yeah, and it's it's <laughs> it's very very strongly flavored. Uh, a delicious variety of bacon that you can get in the deli counter. Okay. Uh, and then we've got four cups of chicken stock and water is just depending upon how how uh, dried out the squash might be, um, just to loosen it up as you're, you're making the, uh, the soup in the blender. Okay. So that's the, the pre-cooking, the passive cooking. Okay. And now just to, you know, as we've done before, take our uh, Vitamix blender and uh, literally just put all the just ingredients in there. put it all in there. in there. Okay. So we'll start off with uh, the squash. And I probably won't put all of this in there because uh, we don't want to overfill it. No, it looks like a healthy sized bowl of squash. Now, if you don't have like a Vitamix blender, can you use like maybe a food processor or just a regular blender? You could, uh, yeah, you could absolutely use a regular blender. You could use a, a food processor. You wouldn't want to add all the broth uh, to the food processor because it would, uh, it would overflow. Oh, it would, yeah, okay. At least in most uh, food processors. And some people even have it in their uh, homes, a uh, hand hand uh, immersion blender. Oh, yeah, you can use right. a stick blender yeah. and okay. a stick blender and do it, do it as do well. You can do that too. Right. So uh, again, I'm, I'm probably going to put like half of this in there, our onion, our garlic, the carrots, and squash. All right. 
It really makes quite a bit, looks like. Yeah, I mean, this would, you know, easily make uh, about 10 or 12 cups of soup. Okay. So proportionally, I'm, you know, going to add maybe two and a half cups of the broth. All right, and you just do it all at once. Just add everything in there. And again, from the health perspective, um, you can just see the brightness of the colors, mm -hmm. a different spectrum of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. You have beta carotene and, and its um, antioxidant principles and, and the phytonutrients. You have onions and garlic, which again, also are anti-inflammatory. So it's a great healing soup in addition to a wonderful holiday um, part that you mm -hmm. can add in. Yeah, very good. Very good. All right. Okay. So everything's in there. I did add uh, probably about another three quarters of a cup to a cup of water. Okay. And then we yeah. stir it off and make our soup. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, if you do much soup making or whatever, this is certainly the thing to get. Yeah. And I mean, if I ran this for about seven to eight minutes, uh -huh. it would actually bring this up to a boil, or very okay. nearly to a boil. So you could serve it right out of the blender. So we don't need to show, uh, you know, two all or three of minutes blending. of blending with right. all that noise. But, uh, it, you know, run it for two or three minutes, get it very, very smooth. You might need to scrape down the sides just to get any uh, 